Some people think that Don Marrow would make a fine state senator. Well, some people are dead wrong. Last year, Marrow voted yes on Measure 23, cutting $2 million from the city education budget. For two years in a row, he voted against state funding to help find puppies' homes. Oh yeah, and there's one more thing. He's a vampire. So if you're interested in having a blood-sucking, transmogrifying foreigner represent you in the state senate, vote for Don Marrow. But if you want a human being who believes in old-fashioned family values and doesn't eat children, vote Bennett. Hi, I'm Woodrow Bennett, and I approve this message. But I don't approve of people sucking blood, especially yours. The nerve of this guy. Well, it's oh not my gosh. This is what we're going to do. We're going to release a statement no. denying a any involvement with the undead. We need to do you get on the phone, you're going to talk to Julie. Uh, I'm going to call Julie right away. We got to just people right away. This is Sheila. Sheila. One of you needs to send an email. Guys, an email. Guys, yeah, an email campaign. This is slightly It's true, it's true. Wait. What? What do you mean? It's true. This. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Come on. Uh huh. Sir. And uh, I'm the mummy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, we got work to do. Okay. Well, again, get a hold of Tim. Tim and Ryan. I think he's serious, you guys. Right. Sir, if I may, how come? How come this is just now coming out? Don. Hmm. How come this is just now coming out? I don't know. I didn't think. Uh, I, did, uh, I didn't think it was going to be a big issue. I... Well, I think it's going to be an issue. This is really bad. I, I don't know how this happened so quickly, but this is very bad. I mean, we're, what are we? A week away from elections, and everyone is very unhappy. Am I concerned about a vampire in the Senate? Damn straight I am. If we elect a vampire, what's next? Frankenwolf? You know, if he lied about the vampire thing, who knows how many other lies he's told. Well, there's been an awful lot of mud slinging lately, so we're just kind of laying low here for right now. He's my husband, of course I support him. <laughs> Till death do us part, right? So what if he's immortal? Carol's been great. Mm. Huh? Mm. Oh, okay. I don't know where I would be without her, honestly. I remember before we got married, I was, uh, <laughs> I was sleeping with uh, six or seven succubus whores a night. <laughs> He's my hero. <laughs> And this is so much better. <laughs> I've, I've been working on this little tribute to him right here. Uh, uh, this right here is when is, was his first city council, and um, th these were his assistants at the time, Brian and Bonnie. <laughs> you know, I, I, I don't know whatever happened to them. Um, oh, and, and here was our very first bus driver. Yes, he he went. He went away too. Don, Don tells me that he, he went and lived with a family in Montana on this nice big farm. He's very happy there. Lots of room to roam around. <laughs> and we love children. Don Don is just is just wonderful with, with kids. We have we have Azriel and, mm -hmm. and, and Virgo. Oh, very good, and honey. yes. <laughs> and we'd love to adopt more. We just it, we just have to see, you know, what's gonna happen. Now. Oh, I, I think everything is going to be just fine. Oh. I, Haley is a very bright young woman. She's going to be able to spin this uh, definitely in our favor. Uh, I'm not concerned about that at all. I, uh... We're going to disarm our opponent by embracing reality. Is Don a vampire? Yes. Okay, he is. Does he sleep in a coffin? Whose business is it? If he does, does he have a soul? Is that an appropriate question to ask a politician? 
There are a lot of misconceptions about vampires floating around nowadays. A lot of misconceptions my opponent would like you to believe. Do vampires burn up in the sunlight? <laughs> no. Do vampires coil at the sight of garlic? <laughs> Absolutely not. I love garlic. Do vampires prey upon and drink the blood of the innocent? <laughs> sure! But can we instantly change into a green mist or transform into bats? I wish. And I'm here to tell you, Mr. John Q. Public and Miss Jane T. United States of America, that I will be here to serve you until the end of time itself. Seriously, I can't die, so be a long time. I really do not know who to vote for because after all, he is a demon of the night and responsible for the death of four of my hogs, not to mention my pappy. However, you do have to, you know, respect a man who stands up and says, you know, y'all just screw you, stand up, deal with it. Dude, it's like Blade or something. No, Senator Blade. Oh man, that's awesome. <laughs> Haley did an absolutely outstanding job. If it weren't for her, we would not be where we are now. Haley! <laughs> Give it up, Haley! My mentor. Thank you. Well, you know, I just hope I did enough, because it's, it's going to be neck and neck up until tomorrow night. Oh. I just said neck and neck. Oh, no, don't you dare go there! <laughs> I, I totally went there. I, I, I totally went there. Oh, gosh. Hey, you guys got the signs for tomorrow. Whoa! Aaron, why did you bring those in there? Okay. You skinny little fool! What is it? The anonymous tip directed press to the local gay bar, High Bear Nation, where challenger Woodrow Bennett was photographed in a very compromising position. Will this be enough of a catalyst for incumbent Don Merrow to scrape by? We'll find out tomorrow. Melanie Scheisenhofer, KSTD, Channel 9. Yes! We got him! Oh! We got him. I got steaks in the garage, I got holy water from the church, but I ain't got nothing to keep them tooty fruities away from my kids. Unbelievable. That's, there, there you go. I'm in disbelief. That's, that's what I'm feeling right now. And he says he won't turn into a puff of green mist, but let's give him a hundred days. Let's talk to him after a hundred days and see what happens then. Let's, let's rally behind this freaking godless vampire. Let's, yeah, let's rally behind him because I mean, that's what it's all about. It's, a, it's GD ridiculous. F, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm gay and I cuss. But look at the alternative! Standing tall, flying proud, for all eternity. I'm an American bat, you got a problem with that, you hemophobic SOB. Yes, a vampire fights all through the night for everything you hold is true well, some see darkness well, i see my job is keeping it together for me and you because when it's morning in america and the dawn's light streaks the sky with the proud blood of a nation you can hold your neck up high. and when you're sorry with a vampire and the light comes shining through and the time is right yes you know i'll fight for that good